three, two, one. All right, as a follow-up to the Excel video that I just posted, I thought I would go over just a quick method of assessing normality on the TI-84 or TI-83 uh, graphing calculators. Now I'm going to use the same data set I used in the Excel video. Uh, the, the process here is a little less precise. Uh, you, you're not calculating any uh, numeric values. All you're doing is drawing what's called a normality plot on the calculator. And that is just the scatter plot of the data versus the z-scores. All right, now uh, the, all of this that we calculated on the Excel spreadsheet, we don't need to do that to do just the, the quick visual on the calculator. All you need to do is enter your data into the stat editor and uh, let me do this really quickly here. So uh, I wanted to do this ahead of time but every time I shut the program down it empties the memory and I have a problem. So uh, now I've gone over uh, how to enter data into the statistical uh, editor on the calculator before but basically all I'm doing is typing the values into the, uh, the editor. And provided I don't make any mistakes, at the end of this we should have 20 values entered in. Yes, okay. So you enter your data in and now what we want to do is something called a stat plot. So let me edit, add, let me exit out of this. Now the stat plot is right here above the y equals. All right, so I'm going to go into stat plot. Now you've got a choice of a few different. You could you could have multiple stat plots happening at one time. So we're just going to go into the first one here by hitting the enter key. I need to turn it on number one. So I enter on on arrow down to type. Now to move through the type you have to move to the right. I want the very last one in the list. That one right there is my normality plot. Okay, So it's going to ask me for the list. I put it in L1 so that's the default. The data axis I want it to be X and then you have your choice. You can make an open mark, a plus sign, or a little dot. I like to leave the open mark. All right, so I'm just going to leave everything. Um, everything else is just default here. All right, so now I'm going to quit out of this. Now, I need to set up my window. Now, this isn't something we've had to do in this class, I don't think, yet. Uh, and depending on how often you've used this in the past for, uh, for algebra, I don't know. So you want to go into your window, which is the second function key here. It's hard to see on the screen. And I need to set my x min and my x max to satisfy my data. So it's two digit data up into the 90s. So I'm going to have it start at 0 and end at 100. That'll cover all the data that I've got. Um, this uh, x scale, I'm going to change that to 10 from 1 just so I don't have a million little tick marks on my, or 100 tick marks on my uh, x axis. All right, so now we got to deal with the y-axis. Now the y-axis is going to be where it is uh, graphing the z-scores that it calculates. Uh, the z-scores, I can see on, on my chart here where the z-scores are, but you're not going to have that in front of you. Uh, my advice is going to be to go from negative 5 to 5. That should encompass any outliers in your data. All right, technically negative 3 to 3 should encompass the significant data, right? 99.7% of the data. I just go out to 5 just because. All right, now the last button over here is graph. So if I hit graph, you'll see a plot come up. And that plot, if I move my calculator over, is basically identical to uh, the plot that I had over here. All right, some of it's off the screen, but that's okay. All right, so you can do a quick kind of down and dirty assessment of normality for a data set by entering it into your stat editor 
and doing the normal probability plot on the calculator.